Hey guys, welcome back to the Dirt Story of Mod Spotlight. Late. Today I'm taking a look at a new mod from Haast, or Mr. Hastings, and Kuloslav. And the mod we're looking at today is the Steam Biome. So what the mod does is it adds a new biome into the ruins, that is below the caves. And if you look on your map, uh, this is where we spawned. You can see it here, it's, it looks kind of metally. you can see from the floor it is very metally. And yeah, it's, it's just different from all the other ones. So it's just this whole big ruin here. I think this is part of it. Yeah, this is part of it as well. So yeah, all of this here is the uh, Steam Biome. And this mod is compatible with both Tiny Alchemy Powers by Kuluslav and Hust's Steampunk mod. And in fact, it's recommended to use both of those with this mod. And the mod also adds a bunch of new uh, things in the, in the biome. Some of them you'll have seen in the Tiny Alchemy Powers mod, like the food generation machine. If we use that, we should get a little bit of food. Oh, hello. There we go, we got a protein bar. Oh, he's coming for me. Alright, well, he drops new things now with this mod, so we'll have to kill him. <laughs> hello. There we go. So he drops gears like usual, but he also drops metal plates. Principles of this world are very strange. And with these metal plates, you are able to craft new items. You can see one of them, uh, th these are in fight, you can make a gear sword with four of those metal plates, two gears, and a pigskin. Sure. You can also make a gear gun with five metal plates, a frazzled wires, and a tesla branch. Now we should be able to get that from a tesla tree, which we'll find around here. And you can also make metal armor with four metal plates, four silk, and two papyrus. So you need a lot of metal plates. Luckily there should be tons of um, clockwork things down here. It also changes some of the recipes, like Alchemy Engine now needs metal plates. I think the Science Machine probably needs metal plates. Oh, it's moved down here. Science Machine does not need metal plates, actually, so it's just the Alchemy Engine and the Ice fling matic and probably the Fridge, I would guess. Yep, there we go. You can also make metal plates in the Refine tab using a Copper Nugget and a Niter. Just like in Tiny Alchemy Powers, you should be able to find, like, Copper Hands that'll drop Copper Nuggets. And there's supposed to be a force field armor, but I can't seem to find it in here. I might see if I can spawn it in a bit later. We've also got this uh, this metal grass here. Uh, um, maybe we can dig out with a shovel? No, not with a shovel. Can't do anything with a pick either. <laughs> or an axe, so I think it just kind of grows there to be honest. So you can see there's lots of food generation machines around. They spawn fairly frequently, you can see lots of them around here. Are there more here? Yeah? Wow. Yeah, there's loads. <laughs> there's tons of them here. And we also have a strange device. A specialized invention, I think. And I think what you're supposed to do with this is just hammer it down. So if we get our hammer... Yeah, we should be able to hammer it. Can we... We can hammer these as well. Can we hammer the grass? Oh, we can hammer the grass. There we go. So that's what you do with the grass. Aha! And you get a bit of thulacite and another metal plate. So there's tons of metal plates around here, actually, so once you get down to the ruins, they're not too hard to get. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, we got a frazzled wires from there as well. Oh, look. The bats, the, the clockwork ponds are different. Hello? Insane machine. Let's get rid of these. Oh, it died. So it looks like sometimes they drop frazzled wires and gears and probably metal plates as well. We've also got a gear flower here, which we can turn off if we want. We've got pipes. I think pretty much everything you can just bash down with a hammer. Yeah, we can hammer this. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, look! Oh, sweet! You get, like, Pig King loot. Not bad. And here, if we wanted, we could turn it off. It's another strange device, but I'll just hammer it. Out of here. I don't want rocks. <laughs> I can hear things grunting out there. That didn't actually drop anything. That's interesting. So it looks like that's all the things that spawn in this kind of uh, steam biome, but it looks like there's more stuff in here. And potentially dangerous things, are these like glowberries? Because there's some there and I killed a couple of depth worms. Let's go have a look. Okay, so we've got a gear table here, we've got the other clockwork things. Pawn and the knight. Here are that. Oh, here's the bishop come in. I assume he will also drop uh, gears and metal plates. Ooh, yes. Any metal plates? Yeah, we got metal plates there. So I'm not sure what we can do with the gear table. I'll just hammer it down. Oh god, there's a depth swarm. <laughs> oh god, he's coming. <laughs> oh, and there's a pawn remains here. So it looks like the pawn remains are th these little thingies on the map. And you can probably bash these down as well. Let's take it down. 
my game just crashed, that's why I've got a different inventory. And Frazzled Wires, okay. I've got the gear sword and the gear gun now as well. I imagine this might be kind of like what the bishop shoots, we'll see. I hear things. Oh god, what? Bees! Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. That is a nice weapon. Looks like it takes, you lose 7% every time it, uh... Every time you fire. And they drop frazzled wires. Woo! Yeah, 7%. That's not bad. Oh god. So they're, they're gear puffballs, and they just explode out little mechanical bees. So that's what all these are, so there's a lot of them around here. And you can see one more kind of region is the tree region, which we'll go have a look at now. Okay, so it looks like we've got like loads of Tesla trees, but in different states of disrepair. So we've got this one that's totally broken, it doesn't turn on at all. This one's really broken. This one's kind of damaged, you can see its lights are occasionally blinking. But this one here is, uh, is very electrifying. And I imagine it would probably be hurting us if I was vulnerable. I'll go vulnerable. Oh no, it doesn't actually hurt us, apparently. But I guess if we were to try chopping it... Yeah, there you go. So how much damage does that do? 149? Oh, it's just one damage, that's not bad. It takes a long time to chop it, though. I'm interested to see what we'll get from it. I wonder how many hits it's going to take. Yeah, 10. 10, you get some logs. Is that it? Wow. And you can also dig this Tesla tree up for another log. So it looks like that's everything from down here. Oh, look at all these trees. I'm going to equip the sword because I think it can electrocute things as well. I just need to find something to fight now. Oh, I can hear a, a knight somewhere. There he is. Alright, so I think we should zap him. Oh, we didn't zap him. Oh, well, we just murder him. Sweet. Oh god. Oh god. There's these things down here. Clockwork Rook. Oh god. It looks like they may have come from here. It looks like this, yeah, this is the same material, so it's part of the, the biome. Let's have a little look. Should be a bunch of obelisks. Oh, and a gear chest. Oh, fantastic. Oh no. Don't kill my gear chest, please. Let's have a look in the gear chest. There's a damaged force. Oh, there's the force field. Aha! Activate it. Woo! So there we go, we just get this armor now. Which would be great if I if I wasn't invincible. <laughs> Fight them. Oh, sweet. Wow, that's pretty tough. Gah. It's a pretty strong sword. So there you go, that is everything from the steam biome down in the ruins. Uh, I believe it should also generate the copper hands on the surface. I'm not going to go back up to the surface because that'll take a while. Uh, but they should be up there. Oh, look. We got these things as well. Always something new down here, apparently. Oh, cool. Didn't know that was there. So there may be more monsters down here that I haven't found yet, but they just haven't popped up, because it is very dark down here. So there you go, the Steam Biome mod by Hast and Kuloslav. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you guys for watching I'm Starve. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these mods. If you want to, you can click subscribe, and if you'd like, I guess you can hit like too. This has been a Jarda production. There's lots of other bits on the channel. If you click subscribe, I'll love you, and really, isn't that what everyone wants? I mean, you, you just want us to love you, right? And we, we want you to love us which would be fantastic. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Like this video, so he doesn't like Don't Starve, right? Thank you for watching.